Hey friends, it's Jill here with the Hometown Homestead and I am back in the laundry room today because I'm getting ready to clean out the filter pump for the very first time. And I'm also gonna clean out my lint filters, both the regular and the foam, as well as take my vacuum and clean out the inside. So I thought maybe some of you might be interested in what the maintenance looks like on this machine. And I'm gonna go a little more in detail on that today. Now, if you haven't seen my full review, I'll make sure to link it at the end. It might cover some questions that are still left after this, but I wanted to go specifically into the maintenance. We've had this thing a little over a month now, and I wanna see just how hard it's gonna be for me to keep it up. So let's get started. First thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna take off this little cover right here. And to do that, it says to use a flathead screwdriver, but around here, I'm more of a kitchen knife kind of girl. So I've got a knife. You just have to put it right here in the top and this little door just flops off. Now there's little hooks that uh, are on the back. So we'll make sure to put that back properly when we're done. But at this point, this little lip right here just folds down and then you just unscrew this. Now the problem is, and I've heard it said, but unless you have the seven inch rise, this is super hard to do. I can see why that was said, but it is still possible. There's only supposed to be up to about a cup of water in here. So what I decided to do since I'm so low is I've got one of my white kitchen plates and I first had planned to use a bowl, but it needs to get way up under there. So I'm going to start with a plate and then just dump off any extra that I have into a measuring cup. Now, if you have a bowl or something of the sort that you can get down there, all the better. Uh, but there is a little bit of danger with getting things wet. So I'm going to go ahead and put a towel under here just to protect my floor because it is cork and I don't want it all soaked. So now I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. We have used this pretty, pretty hard, I would say, for the last month or so. So I'm interested to see what's inside here. Now I've got water coming out and I'm going to go ahead and stop it just for a minute and push this up. Turn it back tight. So I can take this off and dump it into my bowl. That's totally doable. Not sure if you can hear it or not, but the ice cream truck is outside right now. I can hear it in the background. So if you can, that's what you're hearing. I'm just slowly letting this water come out and this plug so far is really good about letting me stop it whenever I need to to dump my plate. You don't have to get it all the way tight to turn off the water flow and it's not coming out super fast. Of course, I didn't just pull it out all the way instantly, so I think that's helping. I'm shutting it down. I'm going right under there. I do see a little bit of water. I'm just gonna tuck this towel back under there. And that's coming because I tipped this up before I had the water flow completely halted. So I would definitely recommend making sure that your water flow is completely halted before you do that. All right, let's see what we can do again. And I can see uh, a little bit of lint coming out with this water as well at this point. The, slow, the flow is definitely slowing down. I'm going to go ahead and open this up all the way to get out anything that's left. Now I have it all the way out. And as you can see, it pulled up some interesting stuff here. Some little plastic um, wrapper got down in there as well as some nasty lint. So over the long haul, that definitely could impact the functioning of your machine and you wanna be able to get it out of there. This little filter isn't really that difficult to get to and is definitely worth checking. 
the manual itself says this needs to be cleaned every three months but after a month i already had some pretty nasty stuff in there so i think i'll plan to check mine monthly now i'm gonna go ahead and put this down take a paper towel and see what else i can get out of here it pulled a little more lint uh, but really nothing major. Now that it's all clean, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in and go ahead and screw it until it's completely tight. Flip the door back up, dry up any water, and I'm actually gonna take a paper towel and go down underneath my machine and see if anything else is under there. And it looks like my towel's actually super dry after that, which I actually didn't expect. So um, a little towel and some paper towel, you should be fine on that. Now I did wanna go ahead and note the amount of water. It is probably about a cup and a half. And considering what I dumped on the floor from my plate trying to get it in there, I would say just to plan on not having more than two cups. Uh, so as long as you're able to accommodate for that, you should be totally fine. Now the last step here is to put this guy back on. As I mentioned before, there's two little clips here. They just need to go on this bottom portion and pop it straight in. I have to admit, I have been waiting on my husband to help me with this for a while. And I just decided today to go ahead and give it a try because he's super busy and he's got the kids out playing and I wanted to see what I could get done in between loads that I'm doing. Um, that was actually easier than I thought and not something that I'm gonna have a problem taking care of. But I do wanna show you one other thing up here with the lint filters, actually two things. So let me raise you up and take a look at what I gotta show you up there. So we just got back from a long weekend and I have done a couple loads of laundry this morning and I wanted to show you what the lint trap looks like when you're pulling it out when it needs to be cleaned you simply push the button pull it out here's your foam side which looks totally clean and then this is what it looks like after I ran a load of dress shirts uh, and another load I think had some of the kids jeans in it which is a starker lint but for having a couple loads done it really doesn't produce that much lint so I'm gonna wipe this off really quick And usually there's some up here kind of on the top. Just make sure to pull that off. And I wanna show you what the foam filter looks like inside. So this is the one you rarely have to clean. I think the machine is actually supposed to tell you when to do it, which it did tell me to clean it one time before, but it picks up this kind of lint. And when it gets really dirty, it's a little bit thicker than this. But all you have to do to clean this is take it to the sink Take this off and take it to the sink and rinse it. And once you rinse it, it's completely clean and ready to go right back in. So unlike my um, my vacuum cleaner, after I rinse the filter and it has to sit out to dry, because this machine is meant to have um, what warm or wet air going through there, it's not really a big deal if you put it back in moist. So I'm gonna go rinse this and I'll be right back. Okay, so to put this back together, you can see it has these tiny little knobs right here and you just slip those over the correct spot on the holes. Make sure that you have it on the side with the lip and not the opposite side. Slide it right into place and you just push it right back on there. One in the middle and three down here on the end. No, two. Two on one and three on the other. All right, now to put it back in the frame you just go right back where it was. It has some little uh, little spots where it clicks in. And you just snap it in. Now, before I actually put it back in, I'm gonna bring it up close and show you what the inside of this part looks like because it also needs cleaned. And I wanna show you exactly what that's gonna look like. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just take my vacuum cleaner attachment and get it right down in there so that I can suck all that out. Now, the one thing you wanna do is be super careful that you're not actually impacting 
this element portion right in here because you want to make sure that stays really clean. As you can see, there is a little buildup up there on the top corner. So this is something that is going to need to be done uh, more time, more often than not. But you can see that side looks good. We need to suck this out and then we need to take care of that little area right there on the inside. So I wasn't able to get in there as much as I wanted with my hand or my vacuum attachment or the paper towel. So I decided to go get my bottle brush and this is working really well. And I did notice that the buildup is mainly on this front corner, which when I pull out, uh, when I pull out the lint trap every single time, the front corner is dirtier. And you might've seen that when I just cleaned it. So that's a good thought that the majority of what you're gonna be dealing with as far as um, excess buildup to try to get off is coming in the front corner. All right, so here's the extra nasty little lint that I was able to pull off using my paper towel. Um, more, of course, with the brush, uh, but it actually looks really clean in there now, and I do have some on my brush that I'll have to get cleaned out, but the unit itself on the inside is clean. Okay, so that's a wrap. Everything's clean and back ready to go. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. Comments, of course, are welcome. This machine has changed the way we do laundry here, and I totally recommend it. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions on if a combo is the way to go, but I can tell you that all of our laundry has been clean all month and nobody's fighting over the mess or asking where the clothes are. And for us, that is a huge win. So for our house, it's going to stick around. So thank you all for stopping by the Hometown Homestead. If you're interested in content about homegrown, homemade, and homeschool topics, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hang out. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you back really soon.